All right, on tonight's episode of Python Pop, we were back inside our generative AI course, and we're still building our vector database with the pine cone. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. So last night, if you recall, we just went over the process of actually printing out our chunks out of, out of our text. This, this here is where we left off, and tonight we pretty much did the same thing. We just uh, built off the top of that and moved forward with the course. So this is everything we did tonight here. So let's uh, pick it up from the top and see exactly what's new. So the first thing we did was that uh, we printed out the length of our chunks. So you can see how we use this method here to print length text chunks. And the next thing we would do is get our API or open AI key. And this is how we would do that. You see the OS dot environ open AI API key. This is our key here. And now we have our chunks. We will create an object out of the open AI embeddings class. Let me see if we have that here for you. You can go to the open AI website to check the documentation on embeddings. Once inside the website, we will locate and click on the Embeddings tab. Once inside the Embeddings tab, we can locate and modify the Embeddings code to our specification. So we want to convert our data into a vector. We are going to use the Embeddings from the OpenAI. This is how we can do that. Since we already have the OpenAI Embeddings imported, we can create an object for it. Let's see if we actually have it created here. So you can see this is how we would do that. OpenAI Embeddings method, this is the one we created here. And then we will save this to a variable called embedding and then we'll end up looking like this so you see here embedding this is our variable we're going to save the open ai embeddings to that variable this is the method we're going to use here to do that and next we can call this method like this so next we're going to call the method we created and inside this embed query we will pass the question how are you so we're going to call this method open ai embeddings through the variable we saved it in which is embedding and then we're going to do embedding dot embed query how are you and once we run this, it generates the embeddings. It generates the embeddings based on features. We can also check to, we can also check the length of the embeddings by running this code. Let me see. Let's go down a little bit more. So you can do the length of the embedding dot embed query. How are you? Now just check the length of the actual embeddings that we have inside of this embed here. That's basically that's what we did uh, for the rest of the, that's what we did all night. Which is uh, different ways to manipulate the code and how to go over the code. We actually did start doing over the Pinecone API key and then pouring that into our code, but we didn't do anything special with it just yet. We just started getting the, uh, the Pinecone API key into our code, so you can see we did that here. So we're going to start using that tomorrow and implementing it. Let me show you the actual code that we're building here. Like I said, this one here is just where we're keeping the notes on everything we're doing. We have code here too, but this is where we're going to actually build our actual project with just code and no no uh, what do you call that there no notes so this is all the code here and like i said we just now brought the pine cone api key into our system so we're going to start building off of that tomorrow and uh seeing what we can do with it but of course I will, and i did try to run it of course you can see i did try to run it everything does work fine but don't uh get discouraged by this error message as you recall we don't have access to the open ai api so that's the only reason we're throwing the error everything is working perfectly fine with the code and everything is going good it's just that we don't have the access so it's throwing this error other than that, everything is good, and we're going to keep moving forward. Of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way. For now, it's the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.